Hello students. In the previous videos we looked at uh, the first three index laws. So in this video we'll look at the fourth index law which involves what we call the power of a product. So before we move on we better explain exactly what that means. Now a product just means two things that are multiplied together. So in this case 2 times 4 is called a product. We've taken that power, uh, sorry, we've taken that product and raised it to the power of 3. So this is an example of the power of a product. Now the instructions here are slightly different to what we had in the previous ones. The previous uh, questions said simplify the expression. Here you're being asked to write the following expression but without the brackets. So here we have in brackets 5 times 2 all squared and I want to rewrite that without the brackets. So the best way to do this is to start by just saying well 5 times 2 all squared just means 5 times 2 times 5 times 2. Now, when I'm multiplying, I can multiply in any order. So 5 times 5 is 5 squared. And 2 times 2 is 2 squared. So 5 times 2 in brackets, all to the power of 2, is the same as 5 squared times 2 squared. Similarly, 4 times 3 in brackets to the power of 3 well, that means 4 times 3 times 4 times 3 times 4 times 3. And 4 times 4 times 4 can be written as 4 to the power of 3. 3 times 3 times 3 can be written as 3 to the power of 3. And that's how we can write that expression without brackets. Okay, how can we actually express what we've just done in English? Well, this is called the power of a product. This is called the product of the powers, because here we have two powers and we're multiplying them together. So in English, the power of a product equals the um, product of the powers. So the concept is actually quite easy, but the English does, uh, does make it sound a little bit complicated. And so you can basically get rid of any brackets um, if you've got a product raised to a power, just by basically saying that's 5 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 2, 4 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, is work backwards. You could have an expression like 4 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3, and you could write it with brackets by just doing this process in reverse order. So it's useful for going in both directions. Okay, in on your page in your exercise book, where you're keeping your index laws, can you now add index law number 4? The power of a product equals the product of the powers. And there's the example just there. We can put the power of 3 on both the 2 and the 5. Okay, let's go ahead and actually do some uh, examples of that. I'll do the first one. I'll get you guys to do the next one. So the first question is the product 3 times 4 all to the power of 4. Well, index law number 4 says I can write that as 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by 4 to the power of 4. So in a way, it's not really simplified. All you're doing is just changing the way it looks. Similarly, down here, I've got 2 to the power of 3 times, oh, I was going to get you to do that one, times 7 to the power of 3. Okay, this one's in red because it's actually a bit more complicated. So what I might do is uh, get you to try uh, that one on your own. And we'll add one more instruction to that. Once you've written it without the brackets, then simplify it. 
Okay, let's see how you went. So in this case, we've got to apply two index laws. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the brackets using index law number four. So I can go two squared all to the power of three. Again, I'm raising that to the power of three times seven fourth, seven, sorry, seven to the power of four all to the power of three. Okay, so I've written that. We still have brackets in here, so I'm not quite finished. Now I can use index law number three to raise a power to a power multiply powers, which is two to the power of six. And here we have seven to the power of four times three, seven to the power of 12. So we actually had to do this one in two steps. So step number one was to raise each of these powers to the power of three, which gave us that expression. And once we did that, we then used index law number three to write it without the brackets or to raise a power to a power. Okay, and we've got one more index law, sorry, two more index laws to go. So we'll continue uh, those in the next video.